Good morning, Team Alabama. We have another Achieve 3000 article today. Please join me in reading Trash Stinks, Try Zero Waste. Trash Stinks, Try Zero Waste. Please do your before reading poll at this time and then join me in reading the stretch article. The vocabulary words that are new to us today um, are copious, which means very large amounts um, or large in number, and then plethora, and that also means a very large amount, or an amount that is much greater than what is necessary. Okay, so those are our new words. They both mean large amounts, copious and plethora. Join me in reading Trash Stinks Zero, Try Zero Waste. Let's talk trash, literally. There's way too much of it and more is piling up at the time considering that on average, each American throws away about 4.5 pounds of trash every day. For a family of four, that works out to about around 6,500 pounds a year, which is roughly the weight of a pickup truck. What a big waste. This copious, large amount of trash goes into landfills where it sits around taking up space, but some ends up littering the ground or polluting the ocean. The zero waste movement. Want to be an eco hero? Go for zero. Concerned consumers are stepping up to the challenge of living a zero waste lifestyle, throwing away next to nothing because they work hard to avoid accruing stuff that'll end up in the garbage can. While creating absolutely no waste is more of an inspiring ideal than an attainable goal, some families get amazingly close to it, fitting all their trash for an entire year into a single jar. In her book, Zero Waste Home, movement pioneer B. Johnson laid out these five principles in order of importance. Refuse, reduce, reuse, recycle, and rot. Becoming a single jar superstar requires serious tenacity, but just about anybody can apply the five R's to cut back on trash output and every little bit helps. The five R's, refuse or refuse, just say no or better yet, no thanks to stuff that you don't need. The plastic straw, stack of paper napkins or bag of freebies from the less than favorite field trip might just end up in the trash can. So think twice before you take it. If someone in your group has a mobile phone, you won't need a bus schedule or amusement park map either. Use an app or snap a picture instead. Reduce. The less you use, the less trash you create. Therefore, if you lather up with a smidgen of shampoo instead of a handful or stick your craft project together with six pieces of tape instead of a whole roll, your supplies will last longer. Zero wasters don't always deprive themselves of great stuff. They just make careful choices, opting for quality and versatility over quantity. People who've got seven shirts that are sensational, not 27, that are so-so, get to wear something they love every day of the week. And well-made things last longer. So a resilient backpack from this year may probably, or will probably, still be going strong next year. Reuse. Serious zero wasters don't buy anything in disposable packaging, opting instead to bring reusable bags or containers to the grocery store, shop from bulk food sections or farmer's markets, and even brew up their own health and beauty products like shampoo and toothpaste. But don't underestimate the power of smaller steps. Imagine the mini mountain of plastic that you can keep out of the trash by drinking from a reusable water bottle every day for a year. Yay you. It, and if you want to do more, you can also put your lunch in reusable containers, upcycle trash into creative crafts, bring your own stainless steel straw when you go to, out to eat, and shop at secondhand stores for new-to-you treasures. Recycle. 
How much do zero wasters rely on recycling? Less than you might guess. Recycling is important, but this R comes forth on the last on the list because they are already big stockpiles of recyclables and not enough demand for them. So if you can't refuse, reduce, or reuse, recycle it. Rot? Got rot? Then good for you and the planet, since rot in this case means compost, which zero wasters see as a beautiful thing. If the place where you live has a composting program, check the guidelines. As you may be able to toss stuff like food scraps and grass clippings into a green waste bin, if not, DIY composting is easier than it sounds. Provide the grown-ups at home are amenable to the idea. Beyond the five R's, environmentalists know the zero waste movement is a step in the right direction, but the garbage that consumers throw away is only a small part of the picture. Experts say we'll need to, I'm sorry, there's a typo in here. Something about the plethora of ways for companies and governments to prevent and deal with waste. Calling all future scientists, start imagining innovative solutions to our troubles with trash. Your brain power won't go to waste. Okay, Team Alabama, have a great rest of your day. Please do your read your article at your level and then do your activity questions at a 75% or higher the first time through. Have a great rest of your day.